Did you witness the ladybug invasion over the weekend? An invasion of the Asian lady beetles underway in South Louisiana. Asian lady beetles. The weather has them on the move and in many unwanted places like your house, your car, and even buzzing around and landing on you. Imagine waking up in the morning, opening up your window drapes, and being greeted by more than just the sunlight. Instead, your window screen may have been dotted with tiny, moving red spots. This can only mean one thing. Ladybug season is back. Ladybugs are the subject of nursery rhymes and are considered a good luck symbol by many. These beetles are usually considered to be beneficial insects because they feed on plant pests and they live outdoors. Although most ladybugs are harmless and good for the environment, the recently introduced Asian lady beetle is an exception. Unlike its docile relative, this orange ladybug can be aggressive and bite. This ladybug species was purposely introduced into the U.S. from Asia in the later half of the 1900s by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The purpose of the release was to control agricultural pests such as aphids and scale insects. The USDA released the lady beetles in Georgia, South Carolina, Louisiana, Mississippi, California, Washington, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Maryland, and since then it has migrated so that it is now found throughout most of the U.S. In addition to this intentional introduction, the beetles have been accidentally introduced into the U.S. by Asian freighters, which probably caused or increased its presence across the country. Since their purposeful introduction, however, the not-so-beneficial aspects of this species of ladybug have come to light. Like box elder bugs and stink bugs, Asian lady beetles will crawl into cracks and crevices of the home like eaves, siding, or even the foundation to overwinter between the walls. They can then come into the house through the winter seeking its warmth. Once inside, they will crawl or fly around rooms and land on windows, walls, and furniture. Having these bugs flying around your home can be bad enough, but what is worse is the terrible odor and yellowish fluid they can secrete if disturbed. This fluid can stain walls, furniture, and other surfaces on which they crawl. Many pest control companies encourage homeowners to take preventative measures by pest-proofing their homes before they begin to congregate in large masses in the fall. But most of the time, extreme, harmful measures are taken to remove these nuisances. It is believed that because of their aggressive invasion patterns, the Asian lady beetles are driving out many other native species found in the U.S. It is important for us to be able to correctly identify common ladybugs before using these harmful control methods on our harmless native ladybugs. For starters, it's important to get a few facts straight. Ladybugs aren't bugs, they're beetles. Entomologically speaking, the term bugs applies to the insects of the order Hemiptera. Ladybugs belong to the order Coleoptera, or the beetles. Within the Coleoptera, they belong to the Coccinellid family. In general, Coccinellids are rounded and dorsally convex. They have club-shaped antenna, and their heads are shielded by their pronotum when viewed from above. Their tarsi appear to be three-segmented, but are actually four-segmented due to a lobe tarsimere. Another easy tell is their spotted patterns and coloring. Although color and spotting varies throughout the species, ladybugs are commonly red to orange in color and have black spots on their elytra. To ensure we are not aiding the decline in native ladybug species, let's go over some specific characteristics to look for before deciding the control methods we will use. The nine-spotted ladybug is the most common species of this family. They are easily recognized because they have four black spots on each wing and a spot in the middle to make nine. They also have a black pronotum with white markings on the front. The parentheses ladybug has markings on its elytra instead of spots. These markings look like punctuation marks, hence the name, so it is not easily confused with the nine-spotted ladybug. They are often smaller in size when compared to the other species. The two-spotted ladybug comes in many colors, but can be distinguished from other species by their two distinct spots. They are sometimes confused with the Asian ladybug, but are almost twice as small. 
The seven spotted ladybugs are similar to the nine spotted ladybugs, except they possess three spots on each wing and one in the middle to make a total of seven. Our bad guy, the multicolored Asian ladybug, comes in many different colors with many different spot patterns. They are consistently large in size and appear to be more rounded compared to the other species. When determining whether or not you have an Asian ladybug in your presence, look for an M or W shaped marking on their pronotum, depending on which direction you are looking at them. It is important for the general public to have a better understanding of common ladybug species and be able to correctly identify them. With about 500 species in the United States alone, it is nearly impossible to stay away from them completely. Just because you stumble across a ladybug in your yard or garden does not mean you should begin to panic once the fall and winter rolls around. Many are quite beneficial and not a nuisance like the Asian lady beetle. That's why it is good to understand ladybug identification as well as effective methods of control.